And look at this angle of this house. I can see myself here. The date is November 4th, and I'm about to pretend like there's not a whole election happening because work must go on, and today we're checking out locations. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? For season two of A Little Late with Lily Singh. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, y'all, she got pressured into making a vlog. And you know what? You're right. I did. <laughs> Real talk, I've been wanting to make a vlog for a while. I heard a lot of y'all on Twitter yesterday being like, she don't make vlogs, she don't do nothing. Listen, it's been a weird year, y'all. I don't know what to vlog. Just like you, I'm in my house all day long. I do nothing, I don't change my clothes. If I was traveling and doing events, I feel like there would be something to vlog. But literally, if I was to vlog and give you more vlog content, this is what it would look like. What's happening? <laughs> so, I don't know what you want from me. In other news, my neighbor has a Trump sign on her gate. More on that later. For now, Season two, let's go. Okay, my tripod just broke. How 2020? Can everyone comment below? Name this zit. This zit has been here for like five days. This is what we feel like. This is what it is. This zit right here. Name this zit. We are checking out three or four locations today. And here's the thing. I've never felt this as a Canadian before, but I'm actually stressed to leave my house. Depending on what happens with the elections, literally votes are being counted right now. There could be protests. There could be riots. You know what? More on this. Let me not start the vlog with this energy. Okay, 33 minutes away. My car is not charged. Let's get stranded. I'm gonna break it down for you, real talk, no BS, spill the tea. Things I wanna change from season one of Little Lay Lily Sing, because most of it, admittedly, I'm not very proud of. I'm proud of how much work it took, for sure, mm. but I think my learning curve was too steep. I was too busy learning how the world of late night works instead of actually being creative and creating things I actually think are dope. Basically, I know I still have a lot to learn, but I'm a little more knowledgeable so I can put time towards being creative and making dope stuff. Definitely more sketch more my YouTube style. Like, I don't want to do a monologue where I come out and hit the mark. I do this perfect monologue. No, I want to make mistakes. I want to embrace the mistakes. I want to make it jump cutty. I want to miss my mark and then not restart. I want to talk to the crew. I want to be freaked out if my mic fell. I just want to be more me. And I felt like in season one, I think I was too busy learning that I was like, oh, it has to be perfect. It has to be like this. And I was being directed to make it perfect. And this season two, I'm like, nah, I don't care what y'all say. I'm being myself. I don't really want to shoot in a small studio. We don't have a budget, y'all. Straight up, the budget is very, 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 very small. So instead of a small studio, I'm like, let me try to do like a house type vibe where like it's my fun house. Here's another thing about late night that a lot of people don't know is there's like a booking war. I won't get certain guests on my show because they're obligated to do other people's shows first. That's how that world works and I didn't know that before doing late night. So I don't always need a guest. If it's a guest that's really exciting to me, dope. Otherwise, I can do it myself. We're gonna have more fun, be more imperfect, embrace more of who I authentically am. And so my location is so important. You know I'm all about vibes, I'm all about energy. I want to create Lily's fun house. That is what we're looking for. That hopefully costs zero dollars. Ten dollars perhaps you can deal with. Anything more than ten? Gonna have to sell my I don't have a sofa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First stop is a place in Venice, which I'm like kind of in my heart hoping is not look at this flare. I'm kind of low-key hoping it's not the one because it's like 35 minutes from my house with no traffic, so I'm about to find everything wrong with it. I just can't stop looking at this city. Damn you, you know what, I love you. No, I don't. All right, so we can see first destination is 19 miles away. Total battery I have is 85 for the whole day, so it's about to be fun. I know your smile when our eyes connect. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we're at location one. Um, it took me 35 minutes to get here. The parking, parking is a big deal. Considering parking at a spot because of a lot of crew, like all these things you gotta think about. Not great here, but let's see. All right, so obviously any space we find, I, I can't just look at it for what it is. I have to look at it for what it can be turned into. So this place has got a lap pool, a hot tub. It's a, it's a creative space. Just not sure about the size. Oh, I'm sold, we should do this place. I look at this setup and I think two things. One, so dope. Two, spiders. All right, I'm the only one on this floor right now. So I love creative structuring like this. Like the architecture is very unique and creative and that's definitely what I want. I think levels is good. Definitely want a lot of art in the space. It is a little small, especially with COVID regulations. I'll walk you through when we get back to my house, but COVID regulations doesn't allow people to be in like the same room. Obviously you have to be six feet, but there's like so many more measures that make location scouting very hard. I thought this was a picture of me for a second because that's, this is what I, this right here, this is what I look like. That's so crazy, you'll see. 
That's crazy. So I want to introduce you to someone. This is oh, Neil. <laughs> he just landed from New York, is it? Yes. He's been here five minutes. Look at his hat. Look at his epic hat. You've been here okay. five minutes. That's a lifelong Laker fan. Okay. Laker fan. Neil is the showrunner for season two. I don't know what that means, but he might. What does the showrunner do, Neil? The showrunner just puts the right team around Lily and makes sure that we can make the show and execute our, our vision and goal. With the whole $4 that we have. So that is the goal. Hunting location. Neil's here. We'll work on the hat. You will be gifted Raptors things, don't worry. Ooh, okay, next we're going to Bel Air, which is fun. Okay, I'm so embarrassed to tell you this, but as a Canadian, I didn't know Bel Air was a real place. I literally just thought it was for fresh friends, but apparently it's a real place, and we're going there now. Bougie! Just do my routine, my I got out of the car routine. Ah! Really does show you where all your cuts are. I also just want to say that I was convinced it was just winter weather now and there was no more really hot weather, but it's so hot today that my boob sweat is like dripping through my shirt right now. Like my boob sweat is Josie. I gave back Josie, Josie. And my booby booby. Just past the street called Bentley Avenue. You know a place is bougie when there's greenery and the greenery is popping and people are like, not only do I have food for myself, I have food for these plants and these palm trees. I have food for everything and I can afford to trim them and hedge them. These plants is more groomed than me. You know how long it's been since I waxed? You know what? TMI, 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 but it's... This is definitely more the aesthetic. Still size is the issue, but I mean, vibes. So one thing we gotta think about when we're checking out these houses is like how many different rooms can we turn into sets? Could this be a segment for something? Could this be a segment? Where are people gonna park? Is there enough space for COVID restrictions? How was the sound? Is there construction? Is the sound gonna echo? How do we solve that? How many things can we adjust in the house? Like, is there space for hair, makeup, wardrobe? All these things are things to consider. Low key, this is rocket science. Like, I'm a rocket scientist. So basically there's like health and safety person here with us at the scouts that is basically coming with us to the homes and being like, this is how many people you could have here. You can't have this many people here so that's what they're discussing over there you can eavesdrop for a second he's basically saying one and a half people can fit in this house Polly what's up say oh what's up God. say what's up Polly's so sweet she knows the election is special so she, would you bring me aromatherapy aromatherapy always taking care of me I mean look at this angle of this house I can see myself here. This is the degree to which I want my show to be like more me, more casual, less formal, is I want to do interviews with guests on floaties in the pool. Like that's the vibe I'm going for. What if I do some interviews on floaties in the pool? I was thinking we'd just put a glass partition over it and actually walk on water. See? <laughs> Proving why you're on my team right here. Okay, so for an example, that massive house that had the big open space in that indoor space, 10 people are allowed to be in there. This is production in COVID, y'all. It's a real thing. We're headed to see our third location. Rocket scientist! Ooh, this next one's near my house. Let it be perfect. Let it be perfect! Considering the fact that I'm parked on the edge of a steep cliff, I'm gonna say parking is gonna be an issue at this location, but let's see. We got a view. Light. Another crucial thing while shooting, textures. And what I mean by that is texture, very important. This looks way better than that. Definitely bigger, but not as cool. I feel like it's not as unique. It's hard. In other words, I can't wait to name this vlog something like house hunting or something so y'all think I'm buying another house, but ah, no, we house hunting for the show. This is why it has to be this way. I don't have the budget of Kelly Clarkson. I don't have the budget of Jimmy Fallon. I don't have the budget of Seth. I don't have these people's budgets. They can do like a big studio, decorate it, make it lit. You saw season one, my studio was so small. The acoustics were so bad. The lighting was so bad because like there wasn't proper rigging for the lighting. It was just not enough space to do anything. So I'm like, okay, if I can't win in the studio space, maybe I can win in the house space. And this is also more authentic to me. It's like, what? is representative of me, being in a house, doing everything kind of DIY. So I'm like, let me try to win in this space. That's the goal. That's the goal. It's let me change the game. If I can't win in your game, let me change the rules of the game. That's what we're trying to do here. We definitely haven't found the one yet. Next, we are gonna check out Universal Studios. It's contradictory to everything I just said, but I said I'd be open to seeing it. We could set design to look like a house, but I know in my instincts, I'm gonna want a house. It's just really hard. Like there's no pool in this house, and that's a problem because like segments are good for a pool. You have a piano, that's good for a segment. So it's like, we need more looks, more spaces. <sighs> I think I can see my house from here though. Damn it. Obviously this is a big space, but I feel like it's just like season one. It's a studio, it doesn't feel homey, it's not the vibe I want, so. I don't know, I'm set in a house, this is just, 
season one all over again and I feel like it's not setting me up for success so I'm gonna fight really hard to not have this happen. And then they showed me the video wall. <laughs> I'm like, damn, that's really cool. Oh my God, they put puppies in? I won't lie, that's really freaking cool. Okay, we are home. I don't think any of the options we saw today are, what is on my shirt? I don't think any of the things we saw today are the one. I think I have a very good intuition. When I see the one, I'll be like, this is, this is it. I just hope the one is within the budget of four dollars. By the way, in other news, check out my office. I finally got my desk, y'all. My mother effing desk. You know the one I've been tweeting about for seven years to bust out me? Like, yo, this is the desk and I love it. My new computer. The glow up is real, y'all. The glow up is real. We are going to check out some more locations tomorrow, but in the meantime, let's talk about this. <gasps> I'm gonna try to not make this a two minute political rant, but honestly, <laughs> I feel so displaced. Like, truly. Okay, since I've moved to America, we've had two elections that have been a little bit stressful. I'm not the most politically savvy person, so I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know all about people's policies and all this. All I know is that this is the first time I've ever felt part of the conversation because no one ever looks like me or I can't relate to anyone. And Kamala, I think I've supported her publicly many, many times. If you're shocked by me saying this, you shouldn't be. But I just applaud her so much and I love the fact that kids will grow up looking at her being like that, that can be me. And I think that's so important. And I think the reason she's so important to me right now, especially is because over the last little bit, I've just really, really learned the hurdles. And this is completely speaking from my experience. I'm not trying to generalize at all. I'm just saying solely from my experience. Like Hollywood can be really tough for people like me. And I am not always able to tweet about it and blog about it and talk about it in interviews because it's just not professional or appropriate. But like, yo, there's a lot of and BS I deal with every day to be able to tell the stories I want to tell. And you know, I talked about during my live stream as well, but simple things like Indian wedding invitations prop for sketchy times or like wanting to use Indian names. It's just like everything is a hurdle. Everything is a, a struggle. And it's just <laughs> for the past couple months, especially I've just been like exhausted. Like there's been so many times where I'm like, I feel like giving up, but then I don't because I'm like, this is bigger than me. And I think that's why season two is so important because for me, this is not just another project. It's not just a late night show. And I'm trying to get people to see that as well. Just, listen, other people have so many late night shows to watch. People that look like me have one right now, you know, and it sucks that I don't have a huge budget and a lot of resources, but it is what it is. It's a 1.30 time slot, but I just w wish I had what I needed to make the best thing I know I can make creatively. I just don't resource wise and I, I'll build myself up there to get there, but I can't do it without your support of season two. And I can't do it real talk. I'm gonna be super shameless about this online as well. I can't do it without the support of other people. Like guests coming on my show, I'm gonna need some people to come through for me. I'm never gonna win the war of like booking them and them not going on another show and all the politics that happen. I'm never gonna win that war. I need people to come through and support because y'all, I'm gonna try to fight the good fight and I can't do it by myself. I just really can't do it by myself. This started political and turned about me. Let me rewind. <laughs> I'm sure you can relate if you, anywhere you are in the world, everyone in the world kind of feels the tension of the American election. It's just like, I'm not used to being around such a divisive community. Is that the right word? I'm not used to being around a community of people that are so divided and that where tensions are so high. Ah, I think I'm just not used to it. And so it's just like, this effing election, man. It's just, yeah. I hope even that made sense, just even 1%. I mean, it might, it might not have, and for that I am sorry. But uh, we're gonna check out some more places tomorrow, so until then, bye. Hey, it's the next morning. Here's the thing, I don't know if I'm gonna take you to every location today because I'm like, what if I find the one and then I can't surprise you with it? I'll take you along, but like, I'm gonna show you everything. Look at this, see? We don't repeat our mistakes out here. We don't do it. We don't do it, fam. Except for all the times I do do it, but otherwise we don't do it. Y'all, we are at a full-fledged ranch right now. Like they're chopping wood in front of me. It's dope, but it's like so not practical because there's a steep narrow road to get here. Ah! All right, so the last location we saw is a contender. It is a contender. That's why I specifically didn't show it to you. We're in downtown right now, and I don't know how I feel about shooting in downtown. There's just a lot going on here. Welcome to downtown LA. not gonna work. All right, I gotta show you guys something I'm very, very proud of. Every time we watch movies now, and by we, I mean like me and two other people, I did this setup in the backyard with this projector and some seating. Check this out, you ready, you ready? <laughs> is it dumb or is it dumb? Is it dumb? I don't know why all these seats are here. We don't have this many friends. We have a group of friends that like all get tested two times a week, like Jay's one of them. He gets tested all the time for shoots. So, like we all sit separately and we watch movies because we're not allowed to hang out with anyone else, so there's COVID. I've been holding this vlog hostage for days and days and days just so I could say, Biden 
Harris, mother effers, oh! and this is the dealio. I've had a video of a Lion King parody of Gumla Harris saying I just can't wait to be king, and I was like, I'm not gonna release it unless she wins, because I know she's gonna win, and I have so much confidence she's gonna win, so I'm not gonna release it. The second she won, I released it. It's on my YouTube channel, link in the description. All garbage aside, I know I could be like, oh my god, the person I want to win won. Da -da. I'm not even American. But I do want to say, I am gonna very much to celebrate in this moment because like I said, representation is very important and this is the first time I have felt included in the conversation. So I can't even imagine for young girls and young boys and young they's that look to Kamala and be like, yo, I've never seen this be possible before and now I know it's possible. It's one thing to tell kids things are possible, it's another thing to show them. So I am very, very happy. Having said that, I'm not of the mindset to, I'm gonna say this with a grain of salt, I'm not of the mindset that right now I should be bashing people who would support Trump or that we should be, I feel like we've had enough division. Of course I have thoughts about people that support Trump, but that's irrelevant right now, it doesn't really matter. What matters is unity and love and moving forward and we've had enough of it. Friggin' I'm not even American, I just live here, I can't even imagine what actual American Kids that have like grown up here feel like. But Biden Harris, Kamala Auntie, was good chuck the auntie. And with that, I'm gonna end the vlog. Bye!